to what degree um, does the uh, this the concept of globalization and the uh, global money markets uh, have to do uh, with the stress and the, the, the pressure that we're feeling um, in the middle class? Uh, you know, it, it feels like that the globalization is causing the problem. Um, it feels like the global money market is allowing this one percent to make all of this money uh, and then you know the lower class and the middle class are where we're funding that and so I'm, my question is um, is that the case and also is the prospect of a global union have any impact there at all you know the, the notion of say a Walmart uh, or a Verizon or some of these large uh, corporations that, that reach across, uh, uh, the, you know, they're international. The notion of those becoming uh, unionized would that have any impact, or is that uh, barking up the wrong tree? That we are not victims of globalization. That there are multinational companies. However, we, the people of the United States of America. We are powerful and we have to take our collective vote, our collective voice, and use it to leverage our congressmen, those in the White House, to act on our behalf. That There, at one point in time, as I said, with President Reagan, and it was uh, Margaret Thatcher, and the President of France, Mitterrand, they all uh, decided to no longer protect their society, their country, uh, as far as uh, there were things you could have done. You could have placed tariffs for unfair trade, but they spoke of, uh, they wanted it to be free trade. Uh, there are things that could be done to protect our government, and for example, in London and in Great Britain, Margaret Thatcher, when the coal miners went on strike, she refused to meet with them. Uh, and so, uh, I don't want us to be mistaken thinking that globalization has brought all of this upon us. It's public policy. Uh, and we all can leverage public policy. Uh, we have to strategize. Uh, my concern is like with these super PACs. We don't want the 1% to be able to give these monies and to put these myths out over the media because they have money and for us to be gullible. Uh, we still do have power and our vote does mean something. We just have to strategize and we can put pressure on the legislature, on Congress, and on the White House, because America is still based upon we, the people of the United States, and you are the people. We have about five minutes left. Well, we have one, we got one comment here, then. Yeah, I just, uh, uh, when we're talking about the power, money, and wealth, and policy, you know, that things are not moving in a more democratic direction. And Citizens United, of course, allows for these tremendous uh, hacks now to be created where if you look at the New York Times yesterday, you see these people, it's just like a hobby. Uh, they, they give millions of dollars to, to a candidate. Uh, I think it's a single donor has been given uh, $10 million in contributions to uh, some of these Republican candidates. One individual has that kind of money. The, the law has now allowed that this week. <laughs> So the whole uh, financing structure of campaigns that we had since the 70s now collapsed.
And, and I think we're going to end up with a teapot dome scandal uh, soon. In other words, we're going we're to end up with, 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 with a great scandal resulting from this huge, the, all of this money that's coming into these elections. We, we saw it in the last cycle a little bit. They spent a million dollars down here uh, against uh, Charlie Wilson in the last two weeks. It was never even reported in the press. And if you look at the at these donations that are going through these Republican candidates now, and, and they say, well, I have nothing to do with these ads because they're, they're over here and they're run by some secret uh, group. So I think that's another big problem is the, is the in terms of the democracy, the problem is of campaign finance getting very serious. I just want to throw that in the mix of the conversation.